high quality turntable is the first piece of gear you need for scratching. It needs to have a direct drive motor with a high torque, so that means that it's powerful enough to withstand you moving the record backwards and forwards at speed and pushing down on the platter. So let's take a look at the main components of a turntable. First of all, you have the on off switch, which quite simply turns the power on and off. So you rotate it this way to turn it on, this way to turn it off. Some turntables also have an additional power switch which you press down. Uh, it just depends which turntable you're using. Next up we've got the start stop button. Again, pretty self-explanatory. Push it down to start the turntable, push it down to stop. Next up we've got the speed selection. So at the moment I've got it set on 33 and a third RPM which stands for revolutions per minute and that's kind of the standard speed for most records we're going to be using for scratching. You've also got the 45 setting, which we're not really going to use. So if I just turn it on, and if I switch between the two, hopefully you can see the difference between the uh, speeds. Very importantly, you have the platter, where you place your slip mat and vinyl, and then your hand on top. So a high quality turntable has got a really solid platter that doesn't wobble from side to side when you apply pressure with your hand. Next up you've got the pitch control. So this changes the speed of the record as a percentage. So this direction slows it down all the way to minus 8% and then this direction speeds it up all the way to plus 8%. And then in the middle this particular turntable clicks and you've got the green light to show you that you're set to zero. The head shell is where the cartridge and stylus attach and it screws into the tone arm, just like this. So you unscrew it and it just pulls out. And then you just tighten it back up again. The tone arm carries a signal from the stylus and cartridge and allows the needle to follow the record groove. This tone arm lift lever raises the tone arm off the record and just holds it in place. So if I unlock this here and raise it up, you'll see this part here raises and then when I move the tone arm across, it just stops the tone arm from moving down and putting the needle on the record. I never really use it for scratching, but it can be useful when just playing normal records and finding tracks. I'm going to show you some specific tone arm settings for scratching in a different video, but let me just show you the parts involved so you can gain a basic understanding. First of all, we've got the tone arm height adjust. Now this lets you adjust the height of the tone arm up and down so you can apply downforce onto the stylus. And all you do is unlock this and turn it from side to side. As the record rotates, centrifugal force can drag the head shell towards the centre of the record. This anti-skating control lets you counteract it by applying adjustable amounts of extra force to the tone arm to bring it back out this way. I never use it, but that's what it does. This part is the counterweight, so you turn it backwards and forwards. And this adjusts the amount of weight that's placed along the tone arm and then onto the stylus. So that sums up turntables. In the next video, we'll take a look at the cartridge and stylus in more detail.